Hey Google, turn on dust collection. Okay, turn on the dust collection. Hey Google, turn off the dust collection. You got it, turning off the dust collection. Thanks Google. <laughs> Okay, so I know a lot of you guys are thinking, this isn't anything novel, all I did was bring a Google Home into my wood shop and use a smart Wi-Fi plug, and you're right, that's what I did. Um, and it's not a smart idea either because there aren't plugs really designed for this sort of uh, application, but I thought it would be something fun to try and see how long it lasts. The plug that I use with my Google Home Mini is a Meros plug, which is one of the less expensive smart plugs, uh, Wi-Fi enabled outlets that work with Google Home on Amazon. It's $17 um, and it's rated up to 15 amps. And that's the first time I really noticed that one of these plugs could take up to 15 amps. Now my outlet for the dust collection is 20 amps. And the dust collection has tripped that breaker on its own maybe two times in the last two years. But that means it's probably pulling over 15 amps. So I'm gonna give this little outlet over here a try uh, and see how long it lasts. Um, I know it's probably a fire hazard. I don't suggest anybody else doing this. I've got a fire extinguisher in here, and each time I use it, I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on it to see how it does. So you're probably asking yourself, why do this? Well, I have a 25 by 25 shop, roughly, and there's an outlet over here on the dust collector post. Um, and sometimes it's a pain to go back and forth. I've been thinking of getting a remote. Um, and you know, those are only $65, I think. But I already had a few Google Home Minis around, and so I thought I'd give this a try just to kind of see what it does. Now, of course, if somebody does come out with a Wi-Fi enabled smart outlet that does take 20 amps, I'm all for the dust collection being uh, voice activated. Um, I'm gonna give it a, a few more tries here. Google has a hard time hearing my voice over the sound, um, so I don't suspect it's gonna actually be that efficient, um, but we'll see. Hey Google, turn on the dust collection. I know what you're all gonna say. It's a fire hazard. Um, so for this test, I had this out. I'm gonna let it roll for the weekend and see how it does. Um, it's failed to turn it on a couple of times. And of course, Google can't hear me over the noise. <laughs> hey Google, what's the temperature outside? Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? The temperature in Grand Rapids right now is 24. Hey Google, turn the dust collection on. Hey Google. <laughs> I was not expecting, I was not expecting her to understand what I was saying through my dust map, but she did. I mean, I was shouting. Definitely not as convenient as, as uh, just flipping a switch. I suppose if you had your hands full, I suppose if you had your hands full, this could be something worthwhile, but this is going to be a stupid experiment for a little while, I think. There you have it, voice activated dust collection. I'm sure it's gonna fry the outlet, but um, we'll see how long it lasts. And then hopefully maybe someday somebody will do a Google Home supported uh, Wi-Fi outlet for 20 amps. Hey Google, turn on dust collection. Okay, turn on dust collection. Hey Google. Turn off the dust collection. You got it, turning off the dust collection. Thanks Google.